Let's just go on box because I don't want to be out here in a negative 60 degree weather. <sighs> What's that about? Here it is. This is the backpack. Uh, side note: You may have seen, you may have seen that that black PPU18-20. This is the color that I'm. This is the new color of the office here. So that's what I'm currently doing. That's why that spot is there. I had to put some primer, some of this paint on here, just to see if I liked it. I like it. We're gonna do it. I bought this backpack because my rig is growing. My camera, my lenses, they are growing. I'm getting more, and so I need a bigger bag. The current bag that I'm using is this. Currently using this little guy, the Low Pro. It's just the Low Pro, the Low Pro backpack. And it is a, it is a nice, compact, super lightweight backpack, only made for like one body and a couple of lenses. And it's got this pouch, which has a little key thing and it has this pouch on the side, and then it has this pouch on the side. And then obviously the main pouch, or the main way to get in, is this. And there's some, you know, there's some dividers. This came with it, along with a couple of other, other ones. I did a lot of research with what bag I should get, like a ton of research. Low Pro 450 AW. The AW, for those who don't know, stands for all weather. So, there you go, little piece of after doing some more research, I found out that Low Pro came out with the Low Pro 450 AW2. Now, when I say that I did a bunch of research, I mean I did tons. For me to get this bag and actually pull the trigger, I'm pretty sure it was a solid three and a half to four months. I'm not joking. I, I want quality gear that's gonna protect my quality gear. And so I had to do all the research from like Padding, reviews, the weight, it comfortable it was, withstand um, uh, lots of pressure, it can drop. It's like all the different things that you would kind of just maybe blow over, you know? That's not me. Just go down and I just rip it. I'm afraid that I'm always going to rip the stuff inside. Anyone else share that feeling? No? Cool. Are you ready for this? Boom. Whoa. I'm so pumped for this. Close this. Okay. So the Low Pro 450 AW1 was a little wider and I think it had more, I just had more stuff on the side and so it wasn't as compact and small as this. Warning, keep away from small children. How do I, this thing is so tightly wrapped, I love it. Wow, l l let's just talk about first impressions, okay? As soon as I touch this thing, I mean, it is solid, it is a, I mean, really built real well. I can tell that it's very sturdy and I don't like using that word, but this backpack is sturdy and it's very, like, it's built sturdy. I know there's a different word for that. I know there's a better way of explaining this, but do you know how you can just, you see someone using something or they're holding and you know what it feels like? I'm hoping this is the same and it translates to you guys. I'm kind of worried about was opening the backpack from the back. I didn't want this to get dirty. I understand why they make you open it from the back here, just so security reasons, I'm sure. I did read or saw some videos at the second version, so this guy, the top is not is not as like strong as the first version. The first version, you couldn't really like put it, squeeze it down almost. It was built a lot better. If that's a deal breaker, that's there's that for you, but I, I mean, it's a pretty rugged backpack. Here's the Protactive 458W2. Super cool. Oh, cool. Comes with this little bag just to put all your dongles, chargers, batteries, chargers, wires, money, food, all that stuff. Right. All these different compartments. Look at that. Now, f with this backpack, I think you can fit like two DSLRs, like one giant 70 to 200, another lens, and another lens, and more from what I've read, in, you know, from my research. So that's pretty awesome. I love that you can have so much room. You have so many pockets on this side, 
You can fit a 15 inch laptop in the back here. I, I mean, I'm, before I'm incredibly happy with the design of this and overall feel and just rugged and sturdiness of this product. <laughs> I feel like I'm a salesman. Please buy this Pro AW2 backpack because it feels sturdy, it's well made, and it's a great price. All, all that's left is to really just go over all the pockets, different compartments, uh, have the inside set up the way I want it to, put all my gear in there and just use it, and then come back later in the year and actually do a full-on review of what I think about the backpack. That came off. <laughs> And I think we'll do that later in the years. I love stuff like this. I love getting stuff in the mail. I love unboxing. It's one of my favorite things. And yeah, if you want any of these, uh, if you want any of these bags, go to the description below. I will put those links for Amazon, and you should be on your way to go. That being said, that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time on the Johnny Q channel. Peace. Is there a bag in the bag? Oh, there's an. Oh, there's like, there's like a gun holster. Yeah.